Good morning guys, what's up? Christian here for Sneaker Talk and today is a new day for a new vlog. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I just woke up about 10 minutes ago. I was supposed to wake up about an hour ago, but my mom slept in. So we're a bit behind schedule. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're gonna go to the mall to buy the new Air Jordan 12s that just came out today. I'm not too sure how much hype there is on this release to be honest. Um, but considering the way things have been going for Jordan brand lately, I feel like I'll be able to walk in early this morning and just cop the shoes without a problem. Hopefully I do. Might also go to Ikea today if there's time, because um, I want to look into getting a new uh, shoe storage solution as well. They had the 75 cent breakfast, which I'm looking forward to. But yeah, this morning is a bit chilly, which means I'm gonna finally break out the Beaver Tour, the Purpose Tour merch for a change. I like never wear this. This is a size large to represent the L that I took, that a lot of you guys said I took. So, like I know I paid a lot for this hoodie, but I'm still very happy with this. So I'm gonna get my wear out of it. Wear what you like, right? Yesterday I got a few things in, um, which are like super duper sneaker talk related. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little peek at them once again. But we got brand new sneaker talk business cards. So very happy to have these in. And we also got brand new sneaker talk stickers. We have a black one here and we have it in like a smaller size. And then we also have white ones. Uh, we have in the big size as well. It looks pretty dope on the table here. Here's what it looks like on the white sneaker box. And then here's what it looks like on the side of my uh, white Converse box. Oh no, it doesn't look too good. It looks like it might start raining soon. It looks like it's sprinkling just like a little bit. Oh well. got inside Fairview Mall right now and the funny thing about Fairview Mall I think a lot of malls have this they just have a lot of elderly people like running laps by walking they walk the mall like a thousand times because it's a nice clean uh, climate controlled environment with air conditioning also I'm curious to know who here is gonna try and get that iPhone 7 we got like bear people in the food court here all getting ready to get the new Air Jordan 12s, of course. Even their kids are here too, it's lit. And of course, the homie, the plug, Foot Locker. The only store in the mall is open right now. So let's see if we can cop the new Air Jordan 12s. So here we have it, the new Jordan 12s sitting on the shelf. I already asked to grab a size 10. And I still have a pair of these Band 31s. Maybe they have a size 10 in these. And then we got the, uh, Olympic colorway. Some fives, some sevens. Here's the Air Jordan 1 selection here. Brought them out so I could try them on in store. Let's give it a shot. Show you guys what they look like in the mirror. So these are good to go. These also just came in, the white and gum uh, Air More Up Tempos. Really clean colorway. Love these, but these are just too bulky for my feet. Let's just take a closer look at the band 31s. Got the band at the bottom here. I love that. I love it. So we went in with the goal to buy one pair of Air Jordans. We left the store, leaving with two pairs of Air Jordans. I'll show you guys what I got when I get back to my house. Turns out I was the very first customer for today, uh, buying two shoes. I'm sure that guy was happy with the sales. Now we're gonna head to Ikea, check out some shoe storage solutions, and if H&M uh, is open by the time we get down there, we'll go there too. Damn, dude. I would cop the new Skechers, but I just ran out of money buying the all new Jordans. You know what, maybe next time Skechers, maybe next time. Champs is still closed, that's surprising. Well, it looks like they're not gonna get any Jordan 12 sales in this morning. I mean, it's not like they're gonna fly out the shelves anyways. Wow, I find that very offensive. H&M is closed, so straight to Ikea we go. So 
if you guys can remember from the last time I was at Ikea, this is the infamous Banana Boy wall. So let's go see Banana Boy's stories. The Banana Boy, where are you? It's me, Noodle Girl. Come back, I love you long, long time. Pears. True. Banana Boy, I need diapers. Noodle Girl. Too bad, I'm with Pear Boy. With Lingaberry Girl. Let's just say there are some very, very unique people in this world. Finally made it the entrance to the holy place us sneakerheads know as Ikea. And look at that, the one dollar slash 75 cents American breakfast. By far one of the cheapest meals you can have. We have our one dollar breakfast as you can see on the receipts. Bam bam, this is like 75, 80 cents American. God bless. So navigating through the IKEA maze, we're finally at the sneaker shelving area. However, we're not looking for some sneaker shelves necessarily. Instead, we're looking for like a bench that will go underneath my bed stand because I've reorganized my bedroom. So I need something like a shoe rack, like a small one foot tall shoe rack. This is what we saw last time, this TV bench called the Lack. It's only 20 bucks. I feel like this is exactly what I need. So I'm hoping it's gonna be manageable enough to bring home. This right here, this would be perfect. However, it's $80, which is not perfect for my wallet. Other than those two options, this would have to be the last option called the Mosh Joe. These are all TV benches, by the way, apparently. Um, but this one's $50, and it's definitely gonna be way too heavy for me to bring home, so it's a definite drop. Just when I finished looking at like the bench unit thingies, Two girls came up to me and they were like, are you vlogging? And apparently one of the girl's husbands, they actually love vlogs and they watch Casey Neistat and they also watch sneaker videos. So I had to drop the business card. All right, so I found myself now in the bedroom section and I'm not looking for a bed. However, I found this really, really dope like bench. It's literally a bench. It's called the Hemnas or Hem I don't know how to pronounce it. It's probably Swedish, um, but this is really nice too, damn. But then that price tag, though. Damn, this has got to be the best smelling place in the building. This by far beats the kitchen as well. Gosh, I love candles. Oh my gosh, yas. We're looking for aisle 13 and bin at number one. Those of you guys with really, really dope sneakers, this right here is probably the best recommendation I can give you for displaying your sneakers in your collection. The Detolf. Beautiful. And it's $60. It's pretty cheap for what you're getting. Aisle 13, bin number one, the LAC. How heavy is this thing? So I just got out of Ikea. Bless the self-checkout. It's so much faster. Bad news. It's starting to rain a little bit, and uh, I might end up using this shelf as like my umbrella. Hopefully I don't have to, hopefully it doesn't rain, but I'm gonna stop vlogging. So things just got hella shitty. I have to walk home, bring this on the bus with me, and it started raining a lot. This is not gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to like hide my camera within my bag and make sure it does not get wet. Hello? Hello, dog? How you doing? Hmm? We're gonna open your legs, huh? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Have I told you guys how much I love the fact that these glow in the dark? These are so sick, ah. As you can tell, we are back in my house. We're in my room right now, and I'm gonna try building that Ikea shelf I bought. I'll show you guys where it's gonna go and uh, what it looks like right now. Um, this is where it's gonna go. I used to have my bed like vertically, essentially attached to this headboard thing, because that's what you normally do. You have a bed with the headboard, um, however, I decided to adjust my room and have it like this. And so because of that, there's this empty thing here. I want to have something there. I have way too many shoes. So I want to have some of my shoes relocated here. So that's where we're building the shelf for. We have the four legs, as you can tell. We have the bottom shelf, I believe, and then the top shelf here. 
Uh, I think all the little things are inside here. It says black. It's a black box, I guess. And uh, yeah, so let's build it and I'll be right back. All right, so about 15 to 20 minutes later, I've just finished the uh, shelf. Looks pretty good, very sturdy. I'll throw some stuff on top of it and I'll show you guys what the setup's gonna look like. Very clean and simple. Have some sneakers I don't really wear, the beaters, all that kind of stuff right here. Then I can put sneakers that I have to have projects done for um, right on the very top here. I can leave my tripod up here if I want to. Um, and yeah, so I just think it's a really good setup to have it like this. And then I have the cubes on that side and then my big sneaker wall right here. Now, here are the two sneakers I picked up today. So the very first sneaker that we picked up today is this pair of Air Jordan 12s. I really like this colorway. Really clean, really simple. Um, these are gonna sit on shelves for a long time. These will probably hit clearance as well. I would not be surprised by any means. So if you do want these, you can wait. Um, but if you don't wanna risk not getting your size, you can cop them early, but realistically, I would suggest waiting on these. So we have these Jordan 12s, which I'm just gonna put right here. The second sneaker that we picked up, which I wasn't actually intending to buy when I walked into the store. I actually thought they would have been sold out by now. But we also bought a pair of the Air Jordan uh, Bread 31s or the Band 31s. These are in a size 11. They're not my size. I'm gonna be a size 10 for this model. So I, however, did wanna pick them up so I could give you guys my opinions, a sort of review on the sneaker as well. And hopefully I can size swap it with somebody in Toronto. If not, it's gonna be easy return to any Foot Locker within 30 days. So not too stressed about that. Here is what the final setup will look like with the Jordan 31 and the Jordan 12 on display. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this. It was fairly cheap. It was only $20 Canadian for the shelf. So I would recommend this shelf. It was very simple to build. You just need to have a like screwdriver thingy and also a hammer as well. So very easy to do. So I just finished my lunch and uh, I posted my new vlog. Um, so I wanna do something different. I wanna give a few of you guys who commented or pretty much all you guys who've commented already in the last 30 minutes a shout out in today's vlog. So let's just do a quick little shout out thingamabob. Shout out to Josh, shout out to boy 7 shout out to the Kid 6 shout out to Carlos Gonzalez, shout out to Taylor Holcomb, uh, shout out to Raphael. Raphael, shout out to DJ Oak Cliff, uh, Yo Ellie, and Ryan I suck at pronouncing names. Hey, yo, dog, 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 chill, chill, fam. Hey, fam, we're gonna go for a walk, okay? We're gonna go for a walk. You can chill on my bed, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay, where are you going? Oh, over there, okay. At one point, I totally forgot to grab my camera and I uh, forgot to vlog pretty much the rest of the day from whatever point was up until this point of the vlog. Um, but what you guys missed was just me hanging out with Natty. Uh, and we just went over to her house and then back to my house. Uh, played lots of Overwatch on my Xbox. Did get rained on, but we luckily had some umbrellas. Uh, unlike, unlike I did earlier today at Ikea, which was rough. If you guys did enjoy today's vlog, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up down below. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is Sunday. Looking forward to it. And I have a lot of videos I want to put out um, on this week. So look forward to a lot of content because I'm super excited to make a lot of videos for you guys. Really liking the setup. Uh, but I'm all out of pizza. Why did I tell you guys that? I just ate my last slices of pizza. I need more. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.